So we have, I'm going to replace F1Y with the force F1 times the sine of 30 degrees. This is equivalent to that force component F1Y. And then we have F2Y. So this force is equal to the force F2 times the sine of 45 degrees. So it's the force times the sine of the angle. And then minus F3. Notice I don't have to use any trigonometry there because that force is already uh, in the downward direction, so I don't have to break it up, okay? So now, remember F1, F2, and F3, these are known values. That's 50 newtons, 75 newtons, and 130. So I'm just gonna uh, plug that in. So this is our equation that's gonna give us the total force in the y direction. So now I can just plug this into the calculator. This is 25 plus 75 times the sine of 45, 53.03, and then minus 130 in the downward direction. So then we just add these up and we get negative 51.97. What does this tell us? Well, when all three of these forces are tugging in these three different directions, the overall force in the y direction is negative 51.97 newtons.